Okay, hey AutoCAD students, this is number 14 in my set of tutorials and today we're going to be drawing a rectangle. Alright, so what I've done is I've opened up a brand new drawing in AutoCAD which grabbed the ACAD default template that it always does um, and it gave it a name. This name happens to be Drawing 4. Uh, so I'm pretty much starting with a blank blank uh, template here. So first thing I'm going to do is a zoom all to get me to the default limits of 12 by 9. Brings the screen in a little bit closer and I'm also going to turn off the grid. Alright, so now let's start with the rectangle command. The rectangle command is up here on the ribbon. It looks like a rectangle and if you pick on that command um, you'll notice that the command line down here says to specify the first corner point and then we have some choices uh, but we're gonna go with the what it's initially asking us to do which is specify the first corner so I'm gonna pick with the mouse and then it says to specify the other corner so I can just really pick anywhere and I have a rectangle okay we'll try that one more time I'm gonna right click which repeats the previous command and I'm going to pick and pick and I have now I have two rectangles okay um, that's nice but if we want to be a little bit more accurate uh, we can actually tell the computer how big we want the rectangle to be alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to the erase command and I'm gonna pick on these two rectangles and do an enter and erase them. Alright, so let's do this a little more accurately. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do it. The way I like to do it and the way I was taught is by using something called relative coordinate entry. Okay, so what that means is I'm going to give it the XY coordinates from the last point that I've picked. So I'm going to start my rectangle here, that being the last point and I'm actually gonna type on the command line the at symbol notice down here I did at and I'm gonna now type in the X dimension which is 11 and then I'm gonna do a comma to tell it I'm giving it the Y dimension which is 8.5 so we have at 11 comma 8.5 and I'm gonna do an enter Okay, if I just scroll down here a little bit, there I have an 11 by 8 and a half inch rectangle. Okay, uh, there's another way to do this. Um, I think some of the newer users um, will embrace this idea. Um, so I'm going to erase this and do that same thing again. Uh, you may find this way easier. I'm going to come down to the status bar before I start and I'm going to put on this DYN button which is called dynamic input and I'm going to start the rectangle command and I'm going to pick a point and notice with this dynamic input it has um, a field highlighted for the um, X dimension here so I'm just going to type in 11 in that field automatically goes there then I'm gonna hit the tab key and it takes me over to the next box and I'm gonna type in 8.5 and I'm done okay so there's your 11 by eight and a half inch rectangle okay the thing you'd like to notice about rectangles is that they are polylines and what that means is that if I grip this the entire rectangle is a single entity okay as compared to I'm going to escape here um, the old-fashioned way where we draw the rectangle with four lines I'm going to put ortho on and do this the old-fashioned way um, and I'm going to close that uh, notice if I grip these lines each line is a separate entity whereas when we come over to grip this it's all one entity okay so that's the big difference between a rectangle drawn with four separate lines and the rectangle with the rectangle command it actually uses a polyline so I'm going to escape to get rid of those grips um, 
and at this point you can um, put some dimensions on here if you want to. You can, I'm just going to put my O snaps on to get them accurate. There's the 11 inch, there's the 8 and a half, and that's how you draw a rectangle. All right, till the next time, keep working with AutoCAD, and I hope you get a chance to give rectangles a try.